100%. That's where you want to be. You want to be able to jump on walls without even looking at them. You want to be able to, if you're, if you're, if you're being chased by someone, you want to be able to move backwards. Maybe turn around with an 80, 180 for a half second to see where you want to go. Then turn back around and jump on the wall while moving backwards. Backwards. <laughs> and still shooting at the person who's chasing you. You know, and then 180 quickly for a half second, see where you want to go, and then turn around and jump to that while moving backwards and still shooting at the person. Like, that's the potential I see. Like, where you're wall climbing, you don't even, like, you're, you're not even 100% looking at the wall that you're climbing on. You're maybe looking at your, where you're going just to know which wall you want to jump on. But then once you get on the wall, you're not looking at the wall. Right now, like, um, you know, most Lucio's, especially the main. Nexium being one of the best, he still has to look at the wall he's jumping on, the right? And so he's always, you know, so when he's jumping, a lot of time he's aiming at the wall. When he could, when he could be using that time to aim at something else. If he were good enough, I know you can um, jump on walls backwards. He could uh, jump on a wall backwards and aim at something else while he's while he's wall jumping. And that's the potential I see from Lucio. And that's where, that's where you want to be. That's where you want to start working on. That's why using Lucio's movement is so freaking important um, because once you get good at that you you become a monster you rarely if ever die and you put out so much more damage because instead of wasting your time looking at the wall that you're sliding on you're either sliding on it backwards and you're shooting at the per at whatever you want to shoot at now this is the great ledge this is the this is probably the best place to be um, that ledge. You don't even need to. Now you can you can circle this place as well. This this thing is a one giant like dome that you can slide on the walls and continue to hear your team. But that ledge is good enough. But that ledge is great. See, look, you can kids, you can do that the entire game. Like you can be up there the entire game while healing and, and throwing down damage and stuff. And you pretty much not gonna die while you're up there. You you can do this the entire game, never die. Throw down damage, heal, do your job. Do, you know. Go down there for an oh, and then get back on the wall. And you'll be doing your job. Now, what he needs to be doing right now is he actually needs to be taking the point. You only want to be doing this. You only want to be doing this when your team has has control of the point. But right now, either he needs to be taking the point or helping his team take the point by ulting. So he actually should be on the point right now because uh, safely. He should be on the point safely just to help his team. There you go. Now he gets back. Now he gets back on the walls. There you go. It's like he can hear me. He's good. Next year, he's good at the game. He's good at the game. Good job. And you're. Yo, I love this map. Just yeah. Because of this. Dude, like you're, you're perfectly healing your team. He's healing four people right now. As long as they're within that dome, he's healing them. This is what you want to be doing with Lucio. Please look where I am. Oh no, I fell. Oh, see, he broke. He, his concentration broke, but if you if you're good with Lucio, if you know how to use his wall climb, you can be up there indefinitely. You literally never need to touch the ground. What you can even do is instead of jumping down the ult, you see that that platform that was up there that he passes by. You can just jump on that platform and ult from there, and you'll you'll still have line of sight to your team, and then get back to jumping on the walls. You actually never need to touch the ground as long as your team is alive and you're helping your team stay alive to contest the point or control the point. You could just heal. Heal and throw down damage from there. So this, man, if you get good at Lucio, you'll be darn near unstoppable. Like the, the skill cap on him make, makes it so like a, a good, the, the pro Lucio players, you, 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 you're going to need, if Lucio stays at this level, which there's nothing wrong with this level. He's, this is a good level. It makes it so like beginning players, like intermediate players, they're balanced. But once it gets to the high skill games, Lucio is going to dominate. You, you can't have a game without a Lucio if, we, if you have a person who's an expert at Lucio. Because he's just too good. His potential is too high. No one's going to compare to him. You, you're going to need a Lucio. But at, at mid-range then, you know, you get to give or take a Lucio because Lucios aren't good. I mean, Lucio's aren't aren't great. They may be decent at them, but they they can't, you know, circle. They can't take advantage of their movement. The difference between the person who's mastered Lucio's movement and a person who's uh, decent at it 
is huge. Is huge. It, it's it's immense. So uh, yeah, Lucio, Lucio's OP at high levels. <laughs>